Hey guys, this is video five. All of these ones are like really like playing into the next one, which I like. Um, and this might be the most odd, I, odd concept, but one of the things that really helped me this year in this, um, you know, overcoming psycho food issues, if you will, was the <laughs> <laughs> was all of the stomach issues that I have. And some of you that have been paying attention to my blog for a while, you know that I have, um, you know, lactose intolerance, right? And it's kind of gotten worse as I've gotten older, but in particular this year. Um, and paying attention to that, see, there's some people like my father who, you know, he has an upset stomach with certain foods, but he, he'll go, you know, he'll just say, I like this food so much, I'm gonna keep eating it and just deal with the stomach ache. I, I do not want to do that. Number one, when I have stomach pains, my stomach pains will be dramatic enough that it's ruined too much of my social life. Um, it's ruined too many times when I've been on business. Um, I remember specifically when I was in New York, <laughs> CP, you remember this? And I mean, I eat something, I remember that, that time we went out for Italian and I had something in a sauce that had cream in it, or it must have had some kind of, you know, dairy thing. And generally speaking for me, I avoid sauces at restaurants. If I don't know what's in the sauce, I'm asking for two orders of a big stomach ache to go. Thank you. And all the rest of that night, you know, I'm supposed to be going out with some friends and enjoying the night on the town um, in New York. And instead, I'm in my hotel room, you know, dealing with horrible stomach cramps and bloating because I have this horrible, horrible stomach pain. Um, so dealing with this food intolerance and then realizing that maybe it wasn't just dairy. You know, I pretty much have cut out almost all dairy. I have one of these cappuccinos. Once in a while I'll have two a day, but really I have one made from my Tassimo and that, it's kind of weird because that is real milk, but I mean you're talking about like maybe a quarter of a cup and I have that and I've tested it to see if it upsets my stomach and if it ever does, believe me, I will cut it out. But paying attention to the to the dairy and, and cutting out so much dairy that I was having. I don't sprinkle cheese on my salads. I don't even have like one of my, I don't want to say cheat foods because I don't label food this way anymore. I used to love to have like a big veggie bagel sandwich on a, you know, on a, on a cheat day, if you will. Um, and I'd go and I have a bagel with cream cheese and a lot of vegetables. Let me tell you, it's yummy. I can't do it anymore because the cream cheese upsets my stomach. And if I'm going to eat something like that and spend four hours or longer going, oh, I have a stomach ache. And then hanging around my friends or being at a party and going, I still have a stomach ache. I don't want to have a, I don't want to have a drink because I still have a stomach ache. The, life is too short. I don't want to be that person where they're like, oh, Kelly Bradley a stomach ache again you know so having that and then making I made the decision that I was going to really pay attention to things that upset my stomach has really helped me like streamline my diet and again when I say diet you guys I'm just talking about what I eat every day because I started to let myself if I was having a craving I was gonna say hey you know what if I feel like having Oreos I'm gonna go buy some Oreos but when I bought those Oreos, or whatever it is that I had, if it was a piece of pizza, when I was babysitting my niece, and I would have a piece of pizza, which again, that was dairy, so you can't do that anymore, but whatever it is, I would let myself have it, and I would just take the time to sit there and go, you know, this sounds very like emotional eating type of a thing, but I just would pay attention, like, okay, I'm gonna have this cookie, or I'm gonna have, have um, I keep saying Oreos, or whatever it is, and I would, really pay attention like do I really like the taste of this like is this amazing and I'm gonna tell you guys nine times out of ten most of the things that I had forbidden to myself pop tarts for example one of the times I had my niece over she wanted pop tarts and I got pop tarts and I was sitting here and I was having them and I was like paying attention and I know that when I was younger see my mom never let us have pop tarts and so in college it was one of those things I would always have I would always buy pop tarts because they were forbidden food and I would eat them and I would eat them really quick. The more I paid attention, I'm like, this doesn't even taste like anything. Like I don't, and I don't mean to rag on a brand, but I'm just saying for me, it was much more of an emotional, like you're not allowed to have that and it must be really good because you're not allowed to have it. Where now, I'm just finding the more that I'm paying attention to how something tastes and the more I'm paying attention to how it makes my body feel, I realize that half the time I'm really, I've been putting way too much value on that food because I don't really enjoy it as much as I put it on such a high level. 
And number two, a lot of times these bad foods, you know, if it's sugar or if it's really something really rich, I end up getting such a bad stomach ache from it that it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. I'm finding that I've cut out a lot more food by paying attention to this and then I'm saying, you know, what I really want to do, if I really feel like having something, it tends to be now more, I go to a steakhouse, right, and my friend Laura and I were there and I had, I ordered this really rich flourless chocolate cake and I had a few bites of it and it was delicious. It was homemade, I knew what the ingredients were, I didn't finish it, but that's all I needed and I'm really comfortable with that and it feels great too.